Hello everybody, welcome to the video. I wanted to make a quick video of how you can capture an OBS rune light without it flashing. As you may or may not know, with OBS, if you hit add, you can select things like game capture, display capture, and window capture. But when you do game capture and window capture, game capture will capture the entire window perfectly, but it will start to flash on you every time you move off and stuff. Uh, so that's very problematic when you're trying to record good videos. So what I'm going to show you is how you can do it using display capture and some features built into OBS. Now keep in mind, I may just be new to these features and have no idea, but I would assume other people are just getting started and this might be useful for them. So what I'm going to do is click display capture in my OBS sources right here. I'll call it OSRS2. And then, yes, we'll have it capture the entire display. Now, what you guys are not able to see is it's now massive on my OBS. And so there's a little bit of inception. So what I'll try to show you guys is at the top, I'm going to hold the shift key and downsize this window. So let me hide that as well. So what I'm doing is at the top right here, holding the... Sh the uh, Shift key and downsizing this window until... Okay, great. Everything fits. I'll hold shift, bring it back. Now I've got the whole window again. Kind of the screen we had before. This is a 4K monitor. No flex intended. Uh, so it is kind of a little disproportionate. So now what I'm going to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner and hold the Alt key. The Alt key is going to actually let us specify a window. So as you see in our OBS, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it fixes on to a window. So what you want to do is wrap this all around your OBS client using this. So what I'm going to do, not your OBS, your RuneLight client. So what I'm going to do is actually wrap this around my RuneLight client, but you can do the same for OBS. So as I kind of zoom in, you can see we're getting closer. We've now wrapped it around. So I can drag this around, make it full screen, all, all of that by holding now shift again and making it. There's a little bit of inception. But obviously we're doing this so that we can do it with the rune light client. So what I'm going to do is hold alt again, spread it out where we have that rune light client that's now something that we can go. Hold shift again to make them both full screen. And then what we're going to do is hold alt and zero in on our rune light client. So here we are, zeroing on the rune light client, getting what we want. We'll drag it to the top, hold shift, boom. We now see everything that we want to see. We now have a good picture of the rune light client. It's not going to blink if we go up to the top and press some of the keys on the side. And we're able to adjust it as we want to kind of get that good picture that we're looking for by using shift to kind of drag the window out and then alt while dragging to zero in on a location. I hope this video was helpful. I don't know if many other people have this issue, but I was certainly struggling with it and it was causing me frustration. And I couldn't personally find an answer very well on Google. It took me a little bit of while, so I just wanted to kind of put one that's front of mind, easy for people in old school RuneScape to get to. Because I was getting discouraged. My hobby for this month is making videos and trying to explore that. And I was getting really discouraged because I was like, I can't figure this out. Am I going to have to scrap this entire project and do something else? Luckily, I found the answer I need. I can still make videos, play on my Iron Man right here, which I'm really enjoying. I'm going for 60 woodcutting before I stop. Anyways, I'll stop rambling on. But thanks for watching the video. Provide me some feedback if you have any. Give it a like if it helped you. Give it a dislike if it didn't help you. Thanks for watching.